are en route to go catch some rainbow trout today. Uh, I was after walleye last night, got stuck on the ice for about two hours, had to dig myself out, and it was just a mess. The wind has been blowing like crazy, and it has been snowing like crazy, so that just means giant snow drifts on the river, and man, just got stuck in one and couldn't get out for a while. So a lot of shoveling, got a good workout in, but uh, heading out to catch some rainbow trout today now, and uh, it's turned out to be a beautiful day here. Uh, got my buddy Deke here with me, and uh, Emily's up north fishing lake trout. Um, we've been out chasing some walleye for a little bit and then she headed up to uh, Baker Snarrow's Lodge there for a couple weeks there to do some guiding and um, I'm stuck down here fishing walleye and, uh, like, and rainbow trout so yeah we're gonna see how today goes but it should be good. We made it to the lake and we are just heading out to our spot and today we are chasing shallow water rainbow trout. We're gonna show you all kinds of little tips and tricks into catching these shallow water rainbows. It's midwinter and uh, brought my buddy Deke along. You can see him running around back there. But uh, we are just about to the spot here we want to fish for the day and uh, conditions are good. It's warm finally, finally warmed up. It's been minus 30 to minus 50 for the past two weeks. It's just been nasty, but uh, hey, we are on the lake now. Good weather and I think it's gonna be good fishing today. We're just gonna get our rod set up out here. And the first setup that I'm using for the day is a, uh, a 13 fishing thermal weiss combo. And uh, I've got 10 pound braid neck down to uh, a uh, eight pound fluorocarbon here. And uh, it's a Suffolk brand fluorocarbon. But uh, the bait I'm using today, on this setup anyways, or starting with, is a VMC tungsten Mongo jig in a 1 16th ounce and uh, I'm actually gonna tip it with uh, this Mike's Atlas uh, shrimp flavored single eggs so we're gonna go set this one up on the jaw jacker and see what happens. Right, so we're just gonna get rig number one set up here. Let's get these uh, arms spread out, locked into place. Make sure the jaw jacker is nice and secure. So today we're running two jaw jackers and the reason we're doing that is I'm fishing extremely shallow water here. It's only a couple feet of water. And uh, actually at this hole about four feet, it'll vary between the day what uh, depth we're gonna fish at, but uh, basically anywhere from two to see about eight feet is what we're gonna fish. So this hole here is about four feet. And um, these fish are extremely sensitive to any movement on top of the ice. And they can even be extremely sensitive to uh, your voice and talking. So if you're here with a buddy and you're talking back and forth all day and you're not catching anything, that could even be the reason why. So and I'll show you an example here of uh, a fish here that uh, is checking out the bait while I walk up to it and he takes off right away. So I'm gonna get this one set up. I'm keeping it just off bottom, about a uh, two to six inches off bottom. And I'm just gonna get this one rigged up. You can see that bait's on bottom. I'm just gonna bring it up about a crank and a half on this reel anyways. So this one's set. Now I'm gonna get my underwater camera rigged up. So if you see this ice spike here, that's what that is. That's just holding this GoPro in place. Helps to start recording. And we're gonna get that one recording and see what happens here. We're gonna set up two jaw jackers and we're actually gonna move to a position. We're just gonna sit there and we're not gonna move. And uh, the movement of even just walking around your feet going across the ice here, it can spook these fish and uh, get them not to bite. So we're being extremely careful with um, our movements on the ice and uh, we're gonna take up a position off the ice even sometimes you can see Shoreline's pretty close by, keep the, the rods within uh, that legal distance, but uh, we're gonna get set up and we're gonna watch our movements because these fish are extremely sensitive to any movement on the ice and it will help you catch more bigger trout if you take that into consideration. And uh, that's one thing that is gonna help us today and that's why we're fishing two jaw jackers. So we're just gonna get over and get the second one set up. Okay, we are set up, both these rods set. So now we are gonna move back to our little position here a little base camp for the day and we're just gonna sit still and watch these two rods hang out with the dog but uh, we're not gonna do any any movement around the ice we're gonna keep things quiet we're not gonna be talking so 
that will help you catch more of these fish in shallow water for sure definitely got to watch your movements and watch your your voice levels and everything but uh we're gonna get down into our position here and wait out these two rods we'll give it probably this spot here probably about 40 minutes and if we're catching fish here we're gonna stick it out but uh if not we're gonna move right away well no sooner than i turn this camera off and this jaw jacker the one i thought just got hit right away so i'm gonna see what happened here you can see it was hit by a fish the trigger's down and uh we'll be able to see that on the underwater camera but uh he did take the bait i can see the jig head just sitting there so i gotta go grab another bait Hey, right away, check that out. This feels like a decent fish too. Look out, D. Get back. It's gonna be a little awkward with that camera there. Looks like a nice female. Not the biggest, but not the worst either. My line is tangled on that camera. But there we go, first fish of the morning, been here about really 10 minutes with lines in the water. Fish number one of the morning, not a monster, but definitely a nice healthy rainbow. I'm gonna get this one back right away. Deke, you're giving it a hard time, are you? There we go. Number one, there's a fish. Not gigantic, but not bad. Jumped right out of the hole. Check that out. Another medium sized fish, not bad. That one actually just inhaled this bait. There it is. Thirsty bud. <laughs> Some nice fish to lie in water. Well, not a giant, but again, a nice healthy little rainbow from this lake. I'm gonna get this one right back. If he stops taking a drink here. There you go, get your licking. We're gonna get this one right back and uh, get some more. There's definitely some bigger fish here, but we just gotta weed through all these ones to get to them. So that one's back. We're gonna get another right away. I just set that up and picked up another fish. I literally just turned the camera on. I was gonna do a little talk. And as soon as I put that bait down, this fish hammered it. This one feels a bit better. This is a lot better fish, actually. Here we go. That's better. Check that one out. This one is inhaled it. Well, look at that. Another one, that's a lot better fish. About double the size of the other one, but uh, hey. That fish literally hit, I turned that camera on just to, uh, I was gonna do a talk, I was gonna say how fishing in such shallow water, you don't get these extreme crazy fights because you know there's not a lot of water there for them to fight. But uh, hey, that is a nice rainbow for this lake. I just put that bait down two seconds ago and this fish hammered it. That's a nice fish. We're gonna get this one right back. There you go. So I just picked up two fish here. Um, that one hasn't been hitting in a little while now. This one's been going off like crazy, but uh, so what I'm doing now, after all that commotion, we just kind of move back to the center area and we just kind of hang out here, sit here and stay quiet. See, that one just got hit right now, but uh, I'm gonna have to go reset that right away. But as soon as you let that area settle back down, the fish start to move back in and uh, get active again. Fish. Feels like a decent one. Get back. Not a giant, but not a bad one by any means. Another one of that mid size class there. Well, another decent rainbow out of this lake. Nice clean fish. Really nice looking, nice healthy fish. But uh, still not a giant. The other one uh, is more what we're after, the last one we caught. But uh, this one is still a quality fish. Got a bit of weight to it, but I'm gonna put this one back right away. It's starting to get a little windy, so we wanna keep them, keep them as good as possible. Size class at the same time. Like that's 
almost looks like the same fish right here that I just caught. It's not, but it's crazy how they just come in in bursts of kind of the same size class of fish. Well, check that out. Another nice little healthy rainbow. Again, that same size class. We gotta bump it up here, get a little bit bigger fish, but uh, still nice fish, fun to fight, nice to look at. Really nice, clean, healthy fish. Get it right back. There we go. Get this rod set up, and uh, you can see the uh, underwater footage. And uh, the only way I can get this underwater footage here of these fish reacting to these baits and uh, hitting these baits is to actually just hang these cameras right I just extend the pole to the bottom of the ice and film from there because if this camera is hanging below the ice line these fish actually won't hit they just spook off these cameras and disappear so with this I'm able to get uh, the underwater footage the only downfall is I can't see what's happening in real time so you know I'm gonna go home review this footage there's probably gonna be a lot of fish that I don't even realize are there but it's a good learning experience we'll get to see what these fish do and react to these different baits how they you know they circle them these trout come in they circle a lot of baits so we're gonna see if they circle it a lot if they hit it if they nose it if they turn them down it's a it's a big learning experience so that's why I have these cameras out and the footage we'll get is just awesome but uh, I'm gonna get this one just set perfectly and uh, start fishing again here is this is fun you enjoy getting hit in the face with snowballs wouldn't think that's fun but hey I'm not a dog so he likes it we've caught a ton of little ones I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the little ones we've probably caught 15 or 20 just small 8 to 10 inch trout and uh, it's getting it's getting quite annoying so I'm I'm thinking of moving out of this spot I've got another spot that we fish here that usually you don't see any little ones there but uh, we've been catching some big ones here I know we can catch the big ones over there, so I'm thinking about moving here in the next uh, 20 minutes or so. We'll see how this goes, but uh, slowly packing things up, and uh, I think we're going to move out over to this next spot because I'm just getting sick of all these small fish. It's just it's getting annoying, and they're killing my bait supply too. So, yeah, let's get a move on here. In a few minutes, we're going to get a little bit longer, and uh, let's catch some big ones. All right, I've had enough of the small fish, so we're moving to a spot that I normally catch some big fish at. Hopefully it's on today. I mean, if it's not, it's not that far of a walk back. So not a big deal, but we are on the move. We're gonna catch a big one over here and uh, it'll pay off. I know it will, it's a good spot. Nice big rainbow. <laughs> Deeks is watching it right down the hole. That is a beauty male too. Nice big colored up male. I can see him right down there. Look at that. Whew. If I can get him out. Oh, he's all curled up. There we go. Look at that fish. Whew. That is a beauty. Hooked just in the top of his mouth. Look at the colors on that fish. That is unbelievable. Such dark, nice colors on this male. Beautiful rainbow, that is a beauty fish. The move paid off. I knew there was big fish over here, but it's so hard to leave a spot when you're catching a lot of fish at it. But uh, hey, first fish over here, nice big male. I'm gonna get this guy straight back, but yeah, that paid off for sure. Check that out. There he goes, just like that.
again. Another nice rainbow. Looks like a male. Usually when they're not beating up the jaw jacker, they're actually a decent fish. This is a nice male. He hit the bait without the camera, of course. Check that out. Another nice male. Yeah. Well, he almost went back in. Okay. He was just barely hooked too. Just barely hooked. Well, another nice male. He's not a giant, but that is a nice healthy rainbow. Beautiful colors on it. You can't beat that. Just jaw jacker fishing for these rainbows is so much fun. You can just kind of chill and let the bait do the work. When they're hitting dead stick baits, it's the best way to fish. You just, you know your bait's definitely not moving around and causing any issues, but check that fish out. That's a beautiful fish. He's been caught before. I can see his, his maxillary is a little torn up, but uh, can get him back. Nice fish. Just awesome colors on these fish too. Like, look at that. That's awesome. He's not a monster, but that is a nice quality fish. Get him going. There he goes. Well, that was fun. That got a little hectic there for a minute. Uh, that one picked up that nice male and then as I rebaited it, it actually got hit on the way down. I could see the line start going away, so I pulled the line by hand and I felt the fish, but I uh, didn't hook it. So I just reset it, it got hit again. And um, I actually just switched some baits around. I took uh, the one over here with the uh, single leg imitation on it. And I switched over here to the underwater camera, the one with the uh, little tungsten Mongo jig VMC and uh, actually put a little minnow on it, a tiny, tiny little shiner on it, dead um, preserved one. So we're gonna see how that does. Some days you catch a lot of them on the minnows here and other days they won't touch them. So that camera will tell us what's going on if, um, and hopefully, hopefully it hooks up and we do catch them on the minnow. That way we know we're gonna catch them on the minnows, but it uh, doesn't always work that way here. Some days they just don't want anything to do with it. So if you are seeing a bunch of fish swimming circles around a jig head and a minnow right now they're not biting that's uh yeah that's what's going on so we're gonna sit here and wait out a little bit the weather's actually getting a little bit nicer and uh has been a pretty good day well we're gonna pack up and head out of here it's been a pretty successful day uh leaving with a bit of light left but uh i just feel like driving home in the daylight today um Deke, he's getting a little tired too he's had a he's had a pretty good day eh, buddy well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun.